I start, I will just say... Tess Joe! Good one, Joe. I will just say, I will pour water out there. I do swear a lot, mainly because I'm nervous as fuck. And because swearing is fun. So if you are offended by swearing, fuck, shit, tick, wank, cob, jism, jizz, ass, arse, it's all uphill from here. Cunts! Hey! I forgot about your cunts, I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I recently broke up with my girlfriend, ex girlfriend now. And I was very busy on remembering about the start of the relationship. And I wouldn't say we were having problems in the bedroom. It was more of a case of. More in case we were having sex. More in case we were having sex in the bedroom. And this was fine by me. Sex, coffee bed, make me a fish finger sandwich, happy bunny. <laughs> But for her, she would be a adventurous, kinky, outside. <laughs> One, it's cold. And two, Doctor Who was on. Okay? Now, I'm not saying I like to have Doctor Who on when I'm having sex. I'm just saying I need it. <laughs> okay? Shit is good. Sorry, what's that? So I've got a list of key words here. In case I forget what I'm about to say. Uh, the next one is personal servant, apparently. Bubble. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I went back to Nottingham where I live over the summer. And to give you a bit of a story, my mum works in an old folks' home. And she has to go fairly early about 5 o'clock in the morning, so she can get, uh, do whatever people do at 5 o'clock in the morning, and go to work and look after old people, older people than her. And so about half 10, 11 over the summer, she came upstairs and went, Right, Paul, you have to go to bed. That's not a voice, that's actually how she sounds. Right, Paul, you have to go to bed. I went, hold on, Paul, I don't have to get up early. Why do I have to go to bed? It's like, well, you've got to look after the dog. I don't. The dog is going to do the exact same shit, whether or not I'm conscious. If he sees me get up, he's like, oh, Paul's up now, we'll go downstairs, have a cup of tea. He's all, oh, Paul's up now, okay, he's back to sleep to dream about poodles. <laughs> he's a right bloody fuck. But I thought, alright, fair enough, I'll uh, go to bed, it's not worth the argument. I went, alright, well, what time does the news finish? I'll go to bed straight after. She went, well, it's on news 24, so I'll just go check. <laughs> <laughs> My mum is definitely getting older. Uh, like I said, I'm from Nottingham, and for those who don't know, there's a lot of chats Ooh. in Nottingham. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big, Shutting <laughs> Uh, I think, you know, it's harsh to call them chaps. Let's be a bit more PC and just call them twats. <laughs> okay, it's what they are, we should call them a space place, uh, A great example of this, I came home from the fish and chip shop one day, about, uh, about 7 o'clock in the afternoon, so, and little kid, about this high, 10, 11, 12 tops, came over to me and went, alright mate, you don't like me, do you? And, well, I, it's not fair, I don't really know you, but, no, no I don't. <laughs> And he went, Yami, is it because I don't speak proper? And no, it's because you don't speak proper Lee. <laughs> and Yami, my name's not even Lee, is it? <laughs> I went home after that. The conversation stopped there. <laughs> I had my fish and chips and I went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this friend from Nigel, right? He's a great guy, good friend of mine. He does it's English lit at some university that he's oh, probably made up. But uh, he does English lit and he's got a really bad reputation, right? People call him a player, he's a ladies' man, he's a gangster, and he's not, okay? It's not fair on him. Loads of times I've heard people go, he's shag anything with a pulse. That's not true. I happen to know he's got a big thing for trees. <laughs> not a healthy thing. Not a dinner table conversation type of thing, but a thing nonetheless. And I know they don't have pulses. Right, and the great thing about him doing it this late is he can push the, lang- uh, like the boundaries of language. There's an entirely new meaning to the word tree, honey. <laughs> <laughs> My name has been Paul Alty. Thank you for listening. <laughs>